In this video, we want to talk about Terraform. That's an infrastructure as code tool or an IAC tool, and it's a topic on the DevNet Associate version 1.1 exam scheduled to come out late January of 2024. Hi, my name is Kevin Wallace, and we're going to begin this video by taking a look at what is Terraform? Where can we get it? What is it really? And we'll take a look at some of the benefits of Terraform, and then we'll check out some sample code. And by the way, I mentioned that this is a new topic in the DevNet Associate version 1.1 exam blueprint. And I wanted to make you aware that our DevNet Associate course version 1.1 is now available on Udemy, along with a few other new entries, such as our SEAL core course, our S core course, and all the other courses that you see here. You can go check them out at kwtrain.com slash Udemy. Now let's get an introduction to Terraform. One of the brand new topics added to the exam blueprint for the DevNet Associate exam is Terraform. And that's what we're going to be introduced to in this video. Terraform was developed by the Hashi Corporation, and you can go out to their site and you can download it by going out to terraform.io. They have some great documentation and they've got some great tutorials. But what exactly is Terraform? Well, it's a tool that we can use when we're doing infrastructure as code or IAC. And infrastructure as code means we can write code to go virtually build an infrastructure. We can spin up virtual servers, for example, through code instead of going in to something like Amazon's AWS console and setting up a virtual server like an EC2 instance one at a time. Instead, we can leverage Terraform, which is going to be using a high-level language, and we'll get a sneak peek of that language in this video. But first, let's consider a few of the benefits of Terraform. Number one, it is very cloud agnostic. It does not just support Amazon's AWS. It supports lots of cloud providers. And I'm showing you just a few of those on the screen. And what it's going to do for us is automate the somewhat tedious and error-prone task of setting up and managing virtual network components. And that's going to give us the benefit of being more consistent in our configuration if I'm setting up an EC2 instance now and I do another one tomorrow, I might not remember all of the specific settings that I used yesterday. But here, Terraform is going to give us consistency of configuration. And we're only human. We might mistype something. We might misselect something on a drop-down menu. So this is going to help reduce configuration errors. And although our purpose in this course is not to make you into a Terraform coder by any means, I want to give you a sense for what it looks like. Here's an example of Terraform code that was generated by ChatGPT. I asked ChatGPT to write some Terraform code that would allow me to provision an EC2 compute instance, and this is what it gave me. And what this does, it defines the AWS EC2 compute instance. It says here's the type of instance because we can provision very high powered compute instances or maybe very low powered instances that we can use in the free tier. And it's also identifying the AWS region in which we're going to provision this EC2 instance. And this is just a simple example of what we can do with Terraform. But now after watching this video, hopefully when you hear the term Terraform, you're going to realize, oh yeah, that's this utility that lets me write some code that can go out to a variety of cloud providers and I can provision a virtual infrastructure, which is really the definition of IAC, infrastructure as code. 